For this exercise, you'll need a long band or cable with the attachment point set to about the height of your waist. If you've got a cable, you'll have constant tension throughout versus with a band, if I step closer, it creates more slack. And if I step further away, then I have more tension. So step back far enough, if you're using that band, that you can feel tension even with your working arm extended. In terms of feet, you can have them directly below your hips like this, or you can take a staggered stance with your working side's foot back behind you. This will give you a little bit more stability. If that's the case, wrap your back hip forward so that your hips are squared off, pointing toward that attachment point versus having it opening to the side. From here, soften your knees, lightly engage your glutes, engage your core, draw your shoulders down and back, inhale, and with a neutral grip, palm facing toward your midline, we're going to exhale and row, pulling our elbow and sliding it back right by our waistline, pulling that band toward us. Inhale, and exhale, row. You should feel your shoulder blade on this side, pulling in and down. And there you have it. Now in terms of things we want to avoid, we want to avoid our rib cage flaring out. We also want to avoid pulling back so far that now our shoulder has to come forward. So keep that shoulder down and back and only row back far enough, but of course you can feel it, but that you can also keep this shoulder down and back instead of going so far that now it's jutting forward. 